Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's video with Zoom, I'm going to discuss what you get with a basic, also known as a free Zoom account. And then I'll even let you know the seven features that you're missing if you use the basic account. The good news is this. It's really easy to sign up for a Zoom free account. You just need a valid email. You sign up. No credit card is required. Also, with that account, you can have unlimited meetings that are one-on-one -on -one meetings. So if you're meeting with just one other person, you're the host, they're the participant, it will not time out. You can have as unlimited meetings and as many unlimited meetings as you want. The drawback is the minute a third person joins that meeting, there's a 40 minute time limit. It starts when the third person joins and it will time out. But you can still have as many 40 minute meetings as you want. So I've already signed in. I've got a basic account or the free account. I also have a paid account. I'm in my basic account right now. So if you're like me and you have two accounts, you can always tell which one. If you go to your profile right here, it says license type basic. Uh, also the limit is a hundred participants on a basic account, but you can still have a hundred people including yourself, for 40 minutes. So here are the seven items you don't get, because I went through a little comparison this weekend. One, with your pro account, you can change your personal meeting ID, called a PMI. With a basic account, it's static. I cannot change this number. With my paid account, I can go make it any number I want to, including my mobile number, which is what a lot of people do. The second item you're missing, and to me this is a big one, you're missing polling. Polling is very popular in Zoom meetings, so polling is not with the basic account. Third item is co-host. You do not have the co-host feature. If I'm having that meeting with 100 people and I want some help with it, with my paid account, I can have as many co-hosts as I want. They can monitor the chat box, and they can do other features to help me manage the meeting. Fourth item, when I schedule a meeting <clears throat> with my basic account, and by the way, here's one more reason you know you have basic, it even tells you when you're on the web, there is no feature to do registration. I can do registration with my paid account and have people register for the meeting prior to the meeting, and then after they register, I can have them automatically approved or manually approved then they get the meeting link. So registration is missing. The fifth item, here's webinars. So with my paid account, I like to do webinars. You can't do webinars with the free account. You have to have a paid account. Then you have to subscribe to the webinar feature. By the way, it does cost money in case you're wondering about that. But I like to do webinars. Item number six. When you go to settings down at the bottom here, and I'm actually going to pop into my paid account to show you this, there is no scheduling features. So let me swap over. Settings. So now I am in my paid account. There is scheduling privileges. I can assign someone to schedule meetings for me. And I can also schedule meetings for someone else with a paid account. You both have to have a paid account and you have to both be on the same account. And item number seven, and again, this is a big one for me and I'm going to stay here to show you this. Back up to the top, I can do registration. I can do polling. Um, I can do attendance reports to find out who was in my meeting. That is all under account management reports. You do not have that feature with the basic or free account. Anyway, I hope that clarifies some of the features you have with basic versus paid. I get that question a lot on my YouTube channel. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about the free account or a paid account with Zoom, please put them in the comments below and have a wonderful day. Thank you.